Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to give you an actual practical guide on how to use Charge Blade, so not a dog guide. This is going to be the best guide on Charge Blade that actually makes you better as a hunter and makes you think about the weapon differently. And okay, so this is not going to be a beginner's guide or for even that matter, it's not even going to be an intermediate guide. It's a practical guide. This is a guide that will actually make you feel better when using the Charge This guide is pretty much assumes that you already know how to do Charge Blade stuff, right? Like you know how to charge your shield, uh, you know how to do SADs, like you know the whole moveset of Charge Blade, but you don't actually know how to practically implement it in a fight. So if you don't know anything about Charge Blade, uh, I, I don't know why you're on this video, please get off, you're just going to confuse you. Okay, so obviously the number one thing with Charge Blade is you want to charge your shield, right? So the fastest way to charge your shield is typically you do this charge, and then you do this, and then you do this, and then you get red files. So the main way to charge your shield is to do the shield. So that's the key move that leads into the round slot. Right, so there's a couple ways I can do that. If I'm red and I want to charge my shield fast, then I go like that, right? Okay, let's say I already charged the files. Like for some reason, I already charged it, like hit this. Well, I don't want to do a this, 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 this to charge my shield. I don't really want to do that because it's not because it's not the fastest way to do it. So if I already have white files, the fastest way to charge the shield is just with the weak slash. So you go weak slash. It's a round slap. And the, the issue with charge blade is it's really slow. So you saw how much time that took to do. In any way I can save time by doing the fastest way to charge the shield, then I'm gonna do it. Now again, like I mentioned, it's all situation. So if I'm on red files, I'm going to charge my shield with the charge files start. If I have white files already sitting in the queue, I'm going to start with the weak slash to charge the... Now this is where I'm gonna introduce guard. Okay, so what most people on the internet will tell you is guard points are great because they allow you to go right into an SAED. And if, if you, while that's technically true, that's, that's the most basic baby way of thinking about guard points. Guard points are a form of defense and should be treated as such, not a form of offense primarily. So the reason why the guard point is so powerful is because it allows me to overextend a lot of my moves into the monster's attacking window, right? So let, let's take a very basic example. So one guard point you can do is after this spinning slash, right? You can see I'm holding the shield up after the spinning slash, which indicates guard point. Now what that allows me to do is it allows me to overreach into the monster's attack window. So if I'm confident that I can get off that spinning slash just in time before the monster attacks, I should go for it. And it doesn't matter if I block it or not, because the guard point is acting as a form of defense. It's a form of insurance that I don't get hit. That's how you should be thinking of guard point. Because again, this right here, this is, this, all of this takes more than three seconds, and that's way more than what a monster would typically allow you to do. But again, we're falling back on the guard point to cover our butt. If the monster whiffs us, we don't care. That's that's good. If the monster hits our guard point, that's good as well. We don't need to go into an SAED right after the guard point. So think of guard points as a primary form of defense. Now we can take a little bit, we can extend this to another example. So what's a really long combo that we need to do, but is very risky to do? Well, that's the charging shield combo, right? So this, 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 this. That takes a lot of time. That's like more than three seconds to do. But Capcom was so gracious to us, they gave us a guard point after the round slap, right? So look at it one more time. Look, shields in front. That allows me to save my butt in case I overextend into the monster attacking window. So if I identify that I can, I can get this off, and if I can get that off in time, just in time so the guard point pops out before the monster hits me, then I'm safe. And again, we don't care if the monster hits us or doesn't hit us because the guard point is just a form of insurance. Us. All right, let's talk about spending file, right? So what most people will tell you is, oh yeah, you charge files. This is the baby way to learn charge blade is you charge your files, right? Boom, I charge it. Okay, now that I charge my files, I should do an SAD, right? Ooh, boom, boom. This is a terrible way to play charge blade. This is a very noob understanding of how to play charge blade. Yes, S SAD does a lot of damage, but I guarantee you, as someone who has analyzed the moves of a lot of monsters in the game on a frame data basis, that is a terrible way to play the game. You're never going to hit any SAED like that. What's a more efficient use of spending all your files and missing com and completely whiffing your SAED just by simple axe attacks with your B axe attacks. But here's the, here's the issue. You've been conditioned to get into axe mode like this. This is a terrible way to get into axe mode quickly. It's very slow, and I know the reason you're doing it is because you're trying to take advantage of that guard point at the beginning of the more slash so that you can go to, so you can try to fish for an SAD. 
And the reason I know that you're doing it that way is because I used to do that and it doesn't work. So charge blade is really slow. We already established that. So what's the fastest way I can get into axe mode that I can spend file? Well, that's just using the charge files animation and then going into a elemental discharge one. So it's like this. And if I had files, that would have spent one file. See how fast that is? This is your fastest way to spend files. It's just with your feet without having to go into an SAED. And then if an opportunity for an SAED pops up, yeah, then of course go for an SAED. You know, even though you spent some files, it's no big deal. You don't want to overcap on files. Like any in any game, if you're overcapping on resources, you are not playing efficiently. It's better to spend resources, prevent overcap. So say I spent two files by just doing this Axe Elemental Discharge course. So then I went from five files, three files. Well, if there's an opportunity to do an SAD after that, I'm not sweating that I only spent, that I only have three files in my SAD. Yeah, the damage is going to be lower, but it's much more, much more efficient and a disciplined way of pulling charge than trying to save the files and wait for the perfect opportunity. To use charge plate, you're supposed to be dipping back and forth between sword and shield and axe mode. If you're spending too much time in one mode, you're not really playing the weapon right. And again, to reiterate, that's the pitfalls of what people are doing of what people do is that in sword mode, they overcap on files because they're, they're trying to save for an SAD that will never come. And again, the way to avoid that is to just quickly get into ax mode like this and spend a file, one file. I already spent one file. And say I never get an SAD off because there's no time to do it. Well, it's no big deal. I just go back to sword mode and I do all my sword attacks and get more files. It's not a big deal. And by that time, anyways, you probably need to spend files to charge your shield anyways. So you always want to constantly be getting and spending files. And to do that, you have to understand the fastest move in the charge blades arsenal to do that. To reiterate, it's fastest way to charge your shield is either with weak slash starter or the charge file starter all the way to round slash. The fastest way to spend files quickly is the charge files into max out of the charge one that will spend one file. And the final thing is remember, use guard points as a defensive option to extend into the monster's attack window. So again, if I'm doing this charge and the spinning slash, that guard point will protect me, save my butt. Don't think of this guard point as a offensive guard point. It's a defensive guard point that allows you to charge your file. Same thing with the round slash here. This is a defensive guard point that allows me to charge my shield and protect my butt. Now, obviously the, the morph slash here is going to be more of an offensive guard point, which allows me to get into SAD on a reaction. Anyways, these are the major tips that will take your charge blade gameplay from noob to intermediate and possibly advanced uh, and give you some things to think about. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.